That's all you got. One rep. We'll find a way to win. Always have a game ready mindset. We will find a way to compete. Always be on. Always be up. We will find a way through it. If you stay ready, you won't have to get ready. We ran the ball really well on Saturday, you know, and we started that right from the start, you know, line of scrimmage, our old line moved the line of scrimmage well. We got a lot of timely first downs throughout the game, and then our red zone, we were five for five. So uh, multiple things offensively. We had a good run mix uh, on who produced. We had a good run pass mix that uh, our play action and boot game was outstanding. So um, just had a, had a good day offensively, but not perfect. You know, there's still a lot of room for improvement when we watch the film, but it really started up front with our offensive line and our run game. Yeah, again, our offensive line and just staying on blocks, coming off line scrimmage together, staying on blocks. Uh, he was in, he made north-south decisions and finished well. Everett had a good run game as well, uh, mixed in some quarterback runs, so it was just a total effort. And that set up so much of our play action and boot game that uh, that brought the tight end into it. And uh, Hans Lundberg had two touchdowns and, and three big plays uh, that were included in the two touchdowns. We were ahead 20, 20 to 14, ahead six early in the game. And uh, their offense moved the ball down to the 14-yard line. And our defense came up with some timely stops. Our defense came up with two interceptions on the day, two turnovers. Our special teams picked up two turnovers. And our defense had some timely stops in the red zone and timely three and outs. Uh, while they did uh, pile up some yardage on us, we had some timely stops. And one of them was on that possession right there. We turned around, got the ball back at the 14, uh, got a timely first down ourselves on a third and nine. Then we went up upfield on a pass for 63 yards uh, to Andrew Sheard. And that got us down in close. A couple plays later, we put in uh, a package and threw a pass to Jay Johnson, who's a defensive lineman, and scored on that. So we went up 27 to 14 at that time. So that was a kind of a key exchange, not only field position and points on the scoreboard, but just offense, defense, working together. And we came out of the game and said it was a good team win, a road win, and an MSFA win. All three of those are important to us and want to keep building on that. I mean, we got, again, we build on it, we improve, we have room to improve on offense, certainly on defense as well. And, and the, the unique thing about football is you're, you have these two units and the special team units and they're not the same people. Uh, so uh, in some sports, when you improve on defense, you as a player are improving your defensive game. And, you know, you're the same guy who plays offense. And, and in football, it's different. You know, you got to rely on trust in each other and trust on the other unit and, and build on each other. And there's some days or some periods of games where one side of the ball carries the other side of the ball. On the other hand, you want to be able to rely on each other to carry things. So... Um, and that goes back and forth during the season. It goes back and forth during games. We've got to build on both sides and go play a complete game in, in a week ahead. I, I, we get that each week, though. You know, in the, in the games where we lost games, we knew we'd rebound and bounce back. It was just a matter of how high. And, and this week, it's not necessarily a bounce back. It's just improve, you know, and climb higher. Climb higher, improve more from, from our performance. And there's plenty of room for improvement on our team and, and on individuals on our team. So that's what we'll keep emphasizing. And we're eager for a new game, new template. It's going to be a whole different uh, kind of setup, you know. And, and there's some carryover week to week, but you can't count on that. you got to go compete with what, what's ahead in front of you. Concordia is a much improved team, even on defense. You know, they lost a, the nation's top defender last year um, in Takari Johnson, but they have a good defense and, and they have more guys involved in it, more guys making plays this year, uh, really active and, and aggressive and play with a lot of confidence. And then on offense, they have a running game that uh, we haven't seen in the past. And that's that's been part of their team improvement, that they run the ball well at quarterback, you know, it kind of centers there and begins there. Uh, they're an option team, but throw it well. They have good players at the skill position, so they're going to be much improved. Sound special teams. And this is going to be an MSFA game that will be a key battle and highly contested, and uh, we're looking forward to it, and we're looking forward to the preparation for it. Yeah, a number of things. I mean, we've had great crowds this season. We've had alumni back at every game. And, and when I refer to alumni, I think of our players, you know, our former players and team guys. 
Um, but this weekend, on Friday night, they're going to have an alumni flag football game. It'll be the first one we've had. And the guys are excited about getting back, playing at Turner Stadium, under the lights, on the turf. For some of them, they hadn't had that opportunity in their career. Um, we've got these great facilities, so they get back in. And, uh, you know, so that'll be Friday night. They'll have that game. They'll stick around for the game and tailgating on Saturday. It'll be a great environment. You know, our job as a team is to play on Saturday and be prepared and play and go execute and play a great game on Saturday. But our alumni, they're getting back. It's great to have them get connected to each other across the eras and across the years and get connected back to the university. The guys who played together in those eras and those years are very close. You know, they remain connected through their experience here. Uh, at Taylor playing and through their collegiate experience. But to get the arrows connected is, is going to be uh, an opportunity we have this weekend. They hear from our guys regularly when they're on campus. They come out to practice. Sometimes they speak in our pregame chapels, you know, on Fridays. And, and they'll be able to observe a bit of this this weekend. Both as guys come in, they're on the field after games. Um, and, and so our current team, not only our younger guys, but our current team get connected with our alumni. And that's part of the tradition. Our guys who come here, they play here, they graduate, you know, so they go the full course. They get their degrees. It's, we're faith-based, and our guys have that component to grow in their faith together, be challenged in their faith together, not only while they're at Taylor, but thereafter. And that's where some of those connections uh, grow deeper and grow more meaningful even after Taylor in, in their lifetime, lives together, in their lifetime together. So our, our younger guys and our team will get connected with our alumni and uh, this, is, this is a key weekend for it, but there's other periods throughout the year as well.